Hello everyone, I'm Thiago Cosman and now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about conservation of Brazilian fungi and the threatened species from the cloud forests of southern Brazil. Cloud forests are a truly fascinating ecosystem. The small and fragmented forests shrouded in mist with their short, crooked trees covered in mosses and epiphytes and their unique biodiversity often seem to have come right out of a fairy tale. However, they are as endangered as they are fascinating, as studies suggest that they are very sensitive to the impacts of climate change, mainly due to the changes in the cloud and fog regimen. This, coupled with other anthropogenic impacts that further threaten this ecosystem, is a call to action towards the conservation of species in these environments. In southern Brazil, cloud forests occur in altitudes of around 1,000 meters and above. In the Araucara forest and in the coastal Atlantic forest, both part of the Atlantic forest phytophysiognomy. So far, fungi from the cloud forests have received little attention, and the fungi from these environments remain largely unknown, especially in Brazil. And no efforts have been conducted so far in the country towards the assessment of the conservation status of fungal species. It is known that assessing the conservation status and red listing threatened species is a useful strategy to both define conservation actions and strategies, as well as to raise awareness on the danger of extinction of species and ecosystems. With this in mind, the goal of our work was to assess the conservation status of potential endangered fungal species from the cloud forests of southern Brazil using the IUCN criteria. We have selected a set of 10 species with occurrence records from the cloud forests of southern Brazil that we were familiar with and that we believe could be potentially threatened based on our previous knowledge for being rare and or restricted to endangered ecosystems. The IUCN criteria were applied following this work by Dauber and Miller from 2011, which defines a series of parameters to make it possible to apply the criteria to fungi, such as major individuals and generation length. All assessments have been submitted to the Global Fungal Red List Initiative website. Now, let's take a look at the results. Aegis luteo contexta is a very rare species, with only 13 records, most of them from southern Brazil, and one record from Costa Rica and another one from Guiana. Despite its broad distribution, the species is so rare that its population is estimated at no more than 10,000 mature individuals, and threatened by habitat loss throughout its range. Thus, it is assessed as vulnerable under Criterium C1. Androgia neutrocca is a polypore that occurs exclusively on Baca de Zuncinella, a shrub species from the highlands of southern and southeastern Brazil. These shrubs occur along patches of transition parts between mountain cloud forests and natural grasslands. Due to this restrict and disjoint distribution, its population is estimated to be of no more than 3,000 mature individuals, threatened by climate change and habitat loss. It is assessed as vulnerable under Criterion C1. Fumitiparia bambusarum is the only species here classified as least concern. We found out that this species occurs in bamboos that are invasive in other countries and have been recorded occurring in populations of these bamboos in Colombia. Thus, its population is probably increasing. Fumitiparia nubicola is a very interesting species recently described as part of a species complex. It is an obligate parasite on Dreamis and Gustifolia, a tree species from the montane cloud forests of southern Brazil, currently known from only two sites. The habitat where its host species occurs are small, fragmented and dependent of rare microclimatic conditions. It is further threatened by climate change and deforestation, which, coupled with a population of no more than 10,000 mature individuals, make it vulnerable under Criterion C2A2. We have recently had a project approved by the Mohammed bin Zayed Species Conservation Fund to further study Fumitiparia nubiculus distribution and ecology, and to reassess its conservation status. Leitiparus squalidus is another very rare species, known only from two sites, both in montane environments of the Atlantic Forest. Given its rarity, its population is estimated at no more than 4,000 mature individuals, 
distributed along the Serra do Mar mountain range, and it is threatened by climate change and habitat loss to deforestation, being assessed as vulnerable under criterion C2A2. Another rare species, Middleopsis cestidiata, is only known from three sites, with a very disjunct distribution, two in southern Brazil, in the Atlantic forest, and one in the core of the Amazon. Due to its rarity, its population is estimated to be small and severely fragmented, threatened by deforestation and climate change throughout its range. It is assessed as vulnerable. In over a hundred years since its description, Scalettocuchus rosella has only been found 30 times in nine different localities, all in southern and southeastern Brazil. Its estimated population is of 5 to 10,000 mature individuals and threatened by habitat loss and climate change. It is assessed as vulnerable. Stropharia venusta is only known from two localities, with few records even in well-surveyed areas. It is thought to be restricted to the Araucaria moist forest, a very degraded and fragmented ecosystem. Total population is estimated at no more than 10,000 mature individuals. Suffering a decline due to habitat loss, it is assessed as vulnerable. Retoporia porilacerata has only been found three times since its description over 20 years ago, despite the intensive sampling effort in the areas where it's found in the last decade. Thus, it is likely extremely rare. Its total population is estimated at no more than 5,000 mature individuals, likely suffering an ongoing decline due to past and current deforestation. It is assessed as vulnerable under criterion C2A2. Rhytoporia araucari is currently known from two localities and five collections. As its name suggests, it is associated with Araucaria angustifolia, an emblematic tree from southern Brazil. This tree is listed as critically endangered in the IUCN Red List, having lost about 97% of its original range in the last 100 years a decline that is still ongoing today. It is expected to further decline due to the impacts of climate change, which will drive it upland to colder climates, making it restricted to highland microrefugia in the next 50 years. Only 2.5% of the projected areas of occurrence of Araucaria angustifolia are in conservation areas. Based on the ongoing deforestation and the projected impacts of climate change, Retoporia araucari is assessed as critically endangered, with a projected population loss of over 90% in the next 50 years. Nine of the ten species assessed here are threatened, and only Fomitiporia bambusarum was not classified as threatened. Obviously, this high proportion of threatened species is biased due to our selection of potentially threatened species but it serves to show that the Brazilian funga and the fungi from the cloud forests are indeed threatened. We are now working on assessing all species found in the cloud forests of Santa Catarina, and we are finding a great zero of rare and unique species. As part of our efforts, Aegis Luteo Contexta and Trogenotropic Meruliopsis Cistidiata and Fomitiporia bambusarum have already been published in the IUCN Red List and figure among the first Brazilian species to be included in it. We hope these results may help raise the awareness of fungal conservation in Brazil, which so far has received no attention both by the general public and the government, and sign of the need for actions to be taken, such as the inclusion of fungi in conservation le legislation. With that in mind, we are also working on the first Brazilian red list of threatened fungal species, which we hope to publish by next year. This work is part of the Mind Funga Initiative and is funded by FAPESC and CNPq. Thank you for your attention and see you in a minute.